So if you want to make your videos loop, this is how you do it. Either if you want to make a GIF or you just want to make a video looping effect, this method should be easy enough to follow. Now I will say that the type of video does matter when making this effect to sell the seamless loop. With that said, you can still apply it to different video clips, but the more stable the video focused on a certain object or subject will give you better results. So as you can see, I have a simple time-lapse clip on my timeline. Now note, you might want to adjust your audio first because that will be affected as well. Unless you're already planning to adjust it or mute it entirely, that should take care of the audio problem once you start looping it. All right, so once you've taken care of your audio, the next thing we're gonna do is just select on your clip, right click and go to copy, or you can just do control C to copy the clip. From there, you wanna make sure that your playhead is at the end of the clip. And you can do this by either dragging the playhead down to the end of the clip or just pressing on this little button in the preview screen. And then from there, all you have to do is paste it by doing control V. And as you can see, both clips are side by side. From here, we're just gonna select our second clip and just drag it on top of our first clip, kind of like a little overlay. You should see a transition spot starting to form in between both clips. It's gonna be this little purple area. And that's basically the default dissolve transition that Shaka applies automatically when you overlay two clips. Now, if you wanna customize this transition even further, all you have to do is select on the transition, right click and go to properties. This should open a new properties window right here. These are the settings that you guys can use as well as the little menu that you can use to change the type of transition you're applying to your video. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it at default because this works pretty well. And if I go back and just hit play, you can see that the transition is pretty minimal and it looks pretty seamless to me. Now you guys can of course adjust the duration or the length of the transition to make that loop even seamless, but I suggest leaving it at a sweet spot so it doesn't look too jarring when it moves on to the next clip. So in this video, I'll set each transition at a different length so you can see how different transitions affect the seamless loop at the end of this process. And from here, all I'm going to do is just repeat the same process. You can add as many copies of the same clip and keep that looping effect for however long you need it to be. And all you have to do is just copy, paste it right next to each other and just move the clips so they overlap, making that transition section appear. And like I said before, I'm going to experiment with the duration of each transition so you guys can see the difference. So as you can see, I'm pretty much done with it and I'm just going to play through making sure everything looks good and I'm just going to add a subtle fade out to the end of the clip to finish the loop off. But from here is basically all personal preference and you can experiment with that as well. You can also open an audio track and throw in some music, but other than that, that's pretty much the process to make this loop. From here, all you have to do is export it and you can very much use the default export preset that Shotcut offers in order to export this loop, as well as to change the aspect ratio if you want this to be a vertical video as well. Now that the basic loop is done, I'm just gonna throw some music in there, courtesy of Artlist, which you guys can try out in the link down in the description and get two free months with your subscription. And then I'm just going to export and show you the final result of what you can expect, as well as for you to see the difference between the duration of each transition. All right, so now that I showed you how to make your video loop, I'm gonna show you another way that you can make a GIF inside of Shotcut, which is basically taking a video clip and turning it into a GIF, so it would just repeat itself over and over. Now, as you can see, I have a simple video of a camera in the timeline, and we're just gonna turn this into a GIF. First thing you wanna do is again, mute the audio entirely. So we're just gonna go right click, we're gonna to go to more, and we're gonna to go to detach audio. That should open the audio track right underneath it, where you can either delete it or just change it entirely. For now, I'm just gonna delete it and we're just gonna have the solid video clip in its track. Now, when it comes to GIFs, there's a lot of customization that you can do, either changing the aspect ratio or even adding some animations or text on top of your GIF. But for this video, I'm just gonna show you the basic of how a GIF is set up and exported. But for now, we're not doing anything else to this clip. We're just gonna leave it as is and we're gonna go to the export tab. And then from there, we're just gonna choose on the GIF animation and just select on the advanced tab where we can see all the settings for the export file as well as the resolution and the aspect ratio of what you guys can change. 
the audio tab in the codec and the other tabs should be left at default unless if you want to change or disable the audio as before but everything else should be good to go from here we're just going to hit export file save it and that's pretty much it the gif animation preset should automatically loop this clip once you look at the final result So as you can see, these are two simple ways that you can achieve this seamless loop and a GIF effect in your video. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.